Hi guys, this is my first tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to change your Windows Live Messenger so it looks like Mac OS X Snow Leopard theme. First you're going to want to go to the internet and explore or whatever. Search for Messenger Plus and it should be Messenger Plus Live. Click the first one. Basically what it is is just an extension to Messenger, uh, Windows Live Messenger, right? And it pretty much just adds new features and things, right? So you're gonna click download, but I, since I already downloaded it, we're not gonna download it, right? And then you're gonna install it, it's already installed, then it's gonna, this is gonna, the preferences are gonna pop up. So it's going to go, no, not that, it's gonna go here. No, wait, here, this, the preferences are gonna pop up, and it's gonna ask you to start whatever, so just put, doesn't really matter, just customize the way you want it. And then you're going to want to allow skins, right? So at the beginning, you're just going to start off with this skin, right? So you're going to want to, you want to go to, uh, I don't know, it should be here, right? And then go to Messenger Skin, and then Get New Skins. I'm just going to open up your web browser. And it's going to take you to this website, right? And you're going to click Computer and Operating System. And you're going to go down to the next page, I think. I'm going to pay, yeah, no. Yeah, page two here. You're going to go to Snow Leopard, click on it. As you can see, it looks really cool. And you can change the background, but I don't like it that way. And you click Download. And you're going to open with uh, Windows Live, whatever. And then you're going to click Import. Okay, and then it says OK to enable your new skin, so it's going to close that off. Close this. Close that. And then you're going to open up Messenger again. Hmm. You're going to open up Messenger again. Sorry, it's being really laggy because I'm uploading things. Yeah, there, and see it changed, right? So you're gonna click sign in, and you already have the background like this, right? So now you can, if you don't like the cool, cool way it looks now, see you've got this, right? Anyways, if you don't like the way it looks, you click this little icon that will pop up now, and you. Okay, so the way your contacts are going to be displayed, if they're offline, you can check, uh, select the custom icons instead of the normal MSN people, right? So, uh, that's the normal one. And I'm going to keep mine at Leopard Box, because that looks cool. And then Alert Skin, so like you saw before, the thing that pop up and shows you if someone signed in and you got a new email. I'm on, I want to keep that blue, but of course you can have it any of these. Same with this. And then the theme setting. So basically, the whole set. I like the blue because the pink one kind of really pisses me off. Purple, whatever. And then you choose your background. So this is gonna be your chat windows. So personally, I don't like this one because look, what happens do when you go to blue? Click OK. Okay, I have to restart it again. And then I'm gonna open it up again. Hmm. I'm just gonna wait for it to work. Okay, I'm gonna sign in. Hmm, oh my god. Sign in. And now when you go to talk to somebody it changed, right? So now you're gonna go to talk to somebody and it changed. Right? And there's a lot of things you can do with like you can get so different backgrounds and stuff. You can customize it the way you like and with win with um, Windows Messenger Plus you can do a lot of things. Like you can set this your personal like you can change these settings and stuff. It's really cool. Check it out. I might make another review video soon. Uh, yeah, and there's even scripts. Okay, yeah. bye guys.